king of Kora, I did not give myself that name. Um, people just thought of it. Like where I stay in Bekama, the street I stay is called Jeriba Street. Well, I, I did not go indoors to say, well, you should name the street uh, Jeriba Street. Uh, it's the same way with King of Kora. I just had people saying this. I always say I don't think I am the best in the West African sub region. That's, this is what people think today. I don't think I am the best, but I'm the most renowned. The most renowned uh, because players in other countries sometimes talk to me on telephone, sometimes on letters, and sometimes during their interviews they comment to say the best man on the Kora today is Jaliba. I always say why? Maybe my style of playing. Maybe. But I, I, I think even in the Gambia there are some people who are very versatile on the instrumental. But maybe the trend I have, the style of Kora playing I have is the first of its kind. I have my own line. Well, on that side, yes, I can believe. And uh, also, um, who is coming up with educative songs like Jaliba? It's very, very rare in the sub region. I mean, from here down to Mali to the genies. Because um, we, we are always in close contact with all, all those people. The star of Mali always marvels at me. But that part of, of, of West Africa, they are very versatile players, very good. Sometimes you hear them, you think it's not um, a, a human being can do that on the fingers. You think it's a machine sort of. But that's possible. But there, they will not be singing. They cannot do both together. Yes, that's the style they have. The style I have here is educative. I play, I dance, I sing, all in unison, all at the same time. I think this is why I am able to be called the king of God. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I am loved and accepted in the Gambia, but I think um, beyond the Gambia, it's bigger. Jaliba is bigger, beyond. Uh, like um, I visited Senegal, Casamas, last week, and even next week I'm performing there. They like to see me weekly, almost every time. Dakar. When you find me in Dakar, well, uh, for me to get to get into the hall, you need to have policemen or soldiers to help me in. The crowd is very big, standing to wait for me, or even touch me, or shake hands with me, or even have a photograph with me. That's really amazing. It's nice. It's, it's, it's a pride. Um, I think it is nice. It is nice, it's a good name for Jaliba, it's a good name for the Gambia too. And uh, you find me in Guinea-Bissau, yes, it's very big, very, very big. You cannot imagine, Jaliba is another, is another legend in those countries. That's where the success lies. When you are able to go across your border, if your name goes across your border, and an order border, and an order border, then you've definitely done something. Because you have to do very good work to have your name travel beyond those borders. So that's where I accept. Yeah. Nobody can always talk 
good of him there all the time. In that way, you'll be boasting. But I'm not. I am not. I think uh, I have done tremendously well uh, to be able to achieve a bigger name even than the name I have in the Gambia, internationally. Gini, I mean the Genies, uh, Senegal, Casamas, beyond that, you have the Gini people, sometimes the Gini people invite me in Portugal. Yeah, and there are Ginian players in Gini. Ginian Cora players, many of them, uncountable of them. But they always invite me to go to Portugal. Where you don't find even a Gambian. They're all Ginians. Uh, the Gambian societies normally always invite me. The United Society in in UK, the Combosil Association in Bristol, UK, uh, the Yaram Arts, that is uh, Jog uh, Malik and Group, always invite me. <laughs> um, in the Scandinavia. The Gambian Association in Sweden. Um, there is one promoter in, in, in Denmark who is recently doing it yearly. This year again, in August, I have to go. That is all Second States. So he is the center. One, one Usman Sawane is the center in Denmark. All the interested CAFOs association in all the other countries in the Schengen state call and then book for dates. So from Denmark I go around. I go to Germany, I go to Finland, I go to Sweden, I go to Norway, I go to Spain, I go to Portugal, everywhere in Europe. Yeah. In the US uh, normally associations in in, in New York, uh, because they have almost two to three Gambian associations who invite me yearly, and uh, in Seattle also, two of the associations, the Bricama one, and then the Seattle Gambian Association, uh, the Ajera in Atlanta. Every July 4th, I always perform with them. Yes, so. All around the whole world, where you have associations, it's just the name, because the name has gone and the work, they, they feel that uh, it should be on a yearly basis for me to visit these places. And it's going on. Yes, especially when I'm playing in the midst of people who are non-Gambians. There I always show my very, very true color because I show them that this is a great instrument and I can play it. I do all sorts of things. Sometimes I'm even acrobatic on it. I'll do it with the teeth. I'll play it backwards. I'll stand on it. I'll do all sorts of things. I do that. Um, but with Gambians, they know me. Most of them know me. And uh, they've heard a lot about me. So I am out there to entertain them. They are used to that music. I just take it to them every time. So we play, we dance, we sound. And uh, uh, when we're doing that, yes, we always we always be proud that we are today. We are we are home. We are in in the Gambia. It's a great fight, and they always love it. Mm. Kora, as I said, in the Greek.